Hi, I'm Chef Drew with the Oakland Road Hy-Vee and I am making one of my favorite beer recipes and it is beer braised short ribs. Today we're going to start off with our beef ribs for the beef braised short ribs. Um, I got these cut in half from our butcher to um, speed up cooking time and also um, just makes them a little bit more um, individual sized. So what we do is we want to make sure we season these really well with salt and pepper. The whole dish um, includes beer, um, beef stock, and some great aromatic vegetables, but you want to make sure you season it well so everything is seasoned and flavored um, nicely. So we start off with salt, pepper, and we want to make sure that we season both sides. Alrighty. After everything's all seasoned really nicely, we're going to put some uh, olive oil right in our pan. We're going to use a cast iron pan today, so really it's a one pan, um, one pan dish. Not too many dishes afterwards. Alright, got a nice pan. It's got it really nice and hot. It's smoking. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our beef short ribs and we're going to put them in some flour. And we're going to brown these up really nice and brown and get some good caramelization on the beef ribs. And this is going to do a couple different things. This is going to, um, like I said, add a really good color. And that's going to help with the depth of the flavor in the dish. And also, this is going to help thicken the sauce as uh, the beef ribs slow cook in the oven. It's going to help thicken the sauce and it creates its own really nice beef gravy um, inside the dish. So, got these really nice covered in flour. You want to dust off the extra. Throw it right in your hot pan. And you want to make sure that everything is spread out evenly so you have even cooking, nothing's crowded. Because you really want to make sure you get a good color on everything. And if you feel like you have not quite much oil on there, go ahead and add just a little bit more. It's okay. We can set this off to the side. We're going to let these brown a couple minutes on each side, get them really good color. You don't want to flip them too many times. You just, like I said, you really want to make sure that each side is cooked evenly and just and um, gets a really good crust on it, so that um, it locks all the moisture and the, and creates a more depth flavor later down the road. So after they're good and brown, we're going to go ahead and pull these out of the pan, and we're going to start sautéing our vegetables. We're going to start sautéing our vegetables. So right here I got an onion, one whole onion, julienne, about one large carrot, celery, about a half a, half a stalk, and again we're going to add some more salt, some uh, cracked black pepper. And we're going to add about, oh, three, four cloves of garlic. Get a, lots of good flavor in here. And we're just going to look in to get these just a little bit of color. Um, they're going to cook tremendously in the, uh, in the oven with the um, beef ribs, but we just want to make sure we get a little bit of color on them and get everything all sautéed up and ready to go. That should be about maybe two minutes. Alrighty, after we get a good saute on our vegetables, we're going to go ahead and take these out. We want to add our beef, nice uh, browned up beef short ribs to our pan. Alright, we're going to add um, our vegetables to right on top. We're going to add uh, about a cup of uh, beef, uh, beef stock, and then we're going to use a 12 ounce bottle of uh, porter uh, beer. It's going to give it a really good rich flavor that goes really well with the beef ribs. And um, right now we're just going to cover those up and get them right in the oven. Alrighty, now after about three hours in a 350 degree oven, as you can tell, all the sauce has reduced gorgeous. It's created a nice um, gravy, um, very aromatic, just very, um, very colorful dish. If we can go by plate, just um, they'll notice the beef is just super tender, falls right off the bone. And this will be a dish sure to please. Thank you.